The most beautiful examples of why lettering is so special and, uh, you know, why I choose to do it over just printing it out from a computer. You know, this, this sentence here is particularly gripping for me where it talks about lettering alone can soar or punch, whisper or shout, point the moral and adorn the tale. Good type is frequently better than poor lettering. Excellent type is often quite adequate where only a certain level of effect is sought. But the very essentials of good lettering are themselves reasons for not using type, and no type can approximate the effect of good lettering at its best. Comparing type with lettering for an advertising display is something like comparing photographs with drawings or paintings. Photographs are often lovely, artistic and perfect in their class. They tell the story and they have their excellent uses. But a good painting or a good drawing has some subtle artistic element, arouses some response in the human heart that the best photographs can never hope for. No product or any camera will ever replace Rembrandt or Michelangelo, Rockwell Kent or Norman Rockwell, and type will never replace good lettering. And I just love that sentiment. I, you know, this is, this is a book that was printed in 1943, but I feel like that is still so relevant, and even, maybe even more relevant now with you know, computers and technology and how easy it is to just sort of mock up some you know, slapdash card or poster or something, but you'll never replace that human element, that the mistakes that we make or you know, that, that strive for perfection that we have as humans. And, it's so simply reflected in drawing a letter, writing a word. So now we're going to do the eye. Yeah, so we've got our days all written out. Happy days! And you can see, you know, I, I haven't sort of labored over every, every single line being perfect and everything. And I like that. It's kind of given the days a bit of character and they're sort of dancing around. And when they're given their 3D shapes and their sh shadows, it'll, it'll be even more, there'll be even more character that sort of jumps out of it. And as long as we're sort of relatively consistent with each letter, it, it'll look great. So now we're gonna do the eye. And we've got, this is our distance. We've got it pretty good all the way through. So we're gonna use that same relative distance and the eye's easy because it's just, it's just a block, so you know, we're just going to do a little dot there. Find the top line with the D, dot there, follow that down, dot there. And it's going to be the first side of the eye's stem, which is all it is, a stem. Just drawing a little rectangle. And that width that we've established, and that, just follow the line down. Easy peasy. Close it out. There's our eye.